Hello everybody, um, I am going to show you guys oh, a lot of stuff on the puppet puppets of the Witchery mod. Now, to start off, you're going to need a tag lock. To craft this, you simply put a glass bottle next to a bone needle and you'll get one tag lock kit. Um, this is how much they stack in. Um, from there, you can use these tag locks on people, beds, and leech chests. But before that, I'm going to show you how to craft a bone needle. It's simply with a bone upward, and you get eight bone needles. So from here, basically with the bed, the last people to person or whatever to sleep in the bed will you'll be able to use a tag lock on it now you the only way to tag lock yourself is by right clicking on a bed that you've just slept in or have slept in i guess now to do so as you can see i got my own tag lock here um with leech shafts if i open it Unfortunately, you cannot do it. You get your own tag lock from it. But if you have somebody else, you can get theirs, like so. Um, now, for the, with the tag locks, you will need them for all the poppets to, ch to tell it what to use. And you can change, as you've probably seen, uh, change the uh, who which tag lock is on the person. Now, with the leech chests, it once you remove a tag lock, it will go down to the next last person who's used it up to about four people, I think. So you see how if I open it, it will say that can't remove your own tag lock from the chest but then when he does it I can then get a tag lock but now I can't get his tag lock again because it has mine now from there you will need to make a poppet now to make a poppet, it you need two Spanish moss, string, four wool, and a bone needle. Now to get Spanish moss, you need mutandus and any plant, as you'll see here. Now you can plant all these different plants. Oh, well, it, it's uh. we go down here you can see on the tendus on mushrooms it, can, it will allow you to continuously change the plants and other plants oh and as you saw there that spanish moss there and if you break it oh, not like some creative mode but um yeah, it works on everything, and it'll change it to a random plant. Wow, this one's taking a long time. <laughs> well, whatever. There's Spanish moss that you can get there, and you can break it. You might need shears. Um, now. Once you've gotten everything you need, you can craft yourself up a poppet. Now, you need a poppet for everything in, for all the poppets, to create every single one. Now, uh, the first one we'll be looking at is the Earth Protection Poppet. You need a poppet, dirt, clay, and two feathers to create the earth protection poppet. And once you have gotten one, I will show what it does. You basically take it and you combine it with a tag lock. Um, 
I will use my own here. Now, this will protect you from dying or fall damage one time. So, if I go into creative mode, fly up in the air, and go back into survival. I, that was not a fall. It would kill you, so it does not activate. But, if you go high up in the air to a point that you would die, and then you fall to your death, Instead, it will use up the Earth Protection Poppet, and um, make sure you don't get killed. Now, the next is the <coughs> Water Protection Poppet, which is made with water artichoke globes and ink sacks. Now, let's see, to, this is the same also the water uh, with the poppets for them to be active they have to either be in your hot bar or in one of those which I'll get to later um, I they might be able to be in your inventory but I don't know I can't remember so with the water protection poppet it works the same one as the earth except it saves you from dying of Dr from drowning. So now that it has mine on it, if I were to go in here, set difficulty to hard, <clears throat> and now drown, you will see that the water protection will save me at the very end. And there you go. Now, it is the same with hunger. Once you're... If you use the hunger one, which is two rotten flesh, two glittering melons, and a poppet to create. It will save you from hunger, but I'm not going to bother showing that one. But I will show the fire one. So, to make the fire protection poppet, you need wool of bat and, and ember moss. For wool of bat, you need to kill uh, wool bats. Um, to increase the chance of getting a wool of bat, you can make an arthana, which is made like so. Um, to get ember moss, you basically get it the same way as you would with Spanish moss. Now, once you have your fire protection pop it you need to well, I guess I should probably just uh, get a bunch get some off of him also if they notice it will actually send them a message that somebody trying to tag lock them but they failed and there we go now, okay, so with the fire protection poppet, we can test it out by going into the fire. Let me just take that stuff off. And, as you'll see, your health will come back and you'll get temporary fire protection. Let's just get in the water here. Now, we now have the Voodoo Protection Pocket. This will protect you from Voodoo Magic, from the things, but um, there's also the Poppet Protection Poppet, which protects you from poppets. Now, uh, this one um, protects you from different other spells and curses, um, which is not anything with this stuff, but it is useful if somebody is trying to do, th do stuff like that. 
So we're going to skip over that one. You can check to see how you craft it. Now, this one is much more useful when it comes to the poppets. Well, I mean, like, this one is very useful, but... This one is all, is <laughs> more useful, I guess, because people can get it, can start doing pop it stuff to you much quicker than they would be able to do good magic. Now, to create one of these, you need Ender Dew, Drop of Luck, Gold Nugget, Toe of Frog, and you get one of these. I will show you here if we tag it with him. Um, and we also get a voodoo poppet, which this is what you need for a voodoo poppet. Um, and <clears throat> you need these to do different various things to other people with them. So if we also put a tag lock on him, as you will see, if I do this, I can shove him around. Also, there's no person playing as this person. This, yeah, there's no, there's nobody actually controlling them. I'm controlling them just on a separate computer. And yes, if you saw there, when you're crouching and you do it, it will use a bone needle to damage the player. You can also. <clears throat> drown them and burn them which I'll show you in a sec Let's just shove him and you can basically do this from anywhere on the map at any point in time as long as they're on the server so the voodoo protection poppet or the poppet protection poppet I give that to him and now I attempt it oh and it well, that was odd. Let me just grab this because, you know, stuff. Uh, let's try this one more time. Maybe, maybe this was. The this is supposed to protect you. Oh, yeah, there. Okay, so it is the voodoo. So when you try to use it, you will be attacked with lightning. Um, and for the sake of showing you the rest of it, I will drop this. So, if we now take this and go underwater to drown ourselves once more, while holding out the voodoo poppet with his tag on it um of, of course with this you will take damage but so will he and he takes damage much quicker though I believe but I can't it seems like it anyways now um the last thing you can do is burn them so, by right clicking like that, he has been set ablaze. And let's just bring him into the water there. Now, <clears throat> that does use up the poppet, so be careful if you don't want to lose it. You could simply just do that just before it's broken. But, um, that took a lot of damage from that one thing. Okay, now let's move on to this one here which is the tool protection poppet this requires two weeks of misfortune and true two drops of luck in a poppet now basically what this will do is just be basically if uh, you were to go and you're using a tool and it were about to break and if it were to break while well, you had one of those in your inventory it would save your tool from breaking um, but I'm not going to show that one but um, I can show this one, it's the death protection poppet so this will protect you once from dying 
I will put it on myself here and show you. And as you saw there, I didn't die, but it got used up. Now, <clears throat> to create a vampiric poppet, which is very, very useful. It requires two worlds of bat, a diamond vapor, an exhale of the horned one, and a poppet. Also, if you're wondering how you create all these things, I will make a video at a later date um, showing how all that works. Now, with the vampiric poppet, it requires two tag locks. So if I put this in and I say put oh oh right, you need to go like that. Um yes. So swap that around, it'll be the other way around, but we want it to do this. So all damage I take, um the other person will take instead. Now, if you wanted to use this with the Voodoo Poppet, so say if you wanted to drown them, but you didn't want to take damage yourself, you could simply do this. And I guess I should probably show you this one here first. If I walk into the fire... Oh. <laughs> Well, wow, that's that was also a bit anticlimactic. Climactic. Um But let's see. Shall we try doing it the other way around? No. Nope. Um that is quite strange. The vampiric poppet's supposed to work. In which that. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Um, but basically, what it's supposed to do is make all damage from the first player go to the second player. Um. Of course, that could just be player damage, so let's try that here. Um sword if we just grab a sword here okay yeah see so you saw there so I guess it's not damage it's only damage from other players but when he tries to attack me he takes the damage instead now if I were to reverse that and take this one here and take a sword and try to hit him. Oh, hold on. <laughs> um, let's give this to him here. And now I take damage instead of him. Which is kind of... Actually, this might still be in a... F <laughs> that might be funny, so neither of us will take damage because of these poppets, but once you see it break, there we go. Oh, did his break? Yeah, okay, so both of them broke, but you kind of saw how that worked. But, um, yep, yeah, so last, but not least, we have these. So, to create a poppet shelf, you need four attuned stones. So to create a tomb stone, it's a whiff of magic, a diamond, and a lava bucket. You throw four of these, four nether bricks, and a green wolf, you get one. Now, basically what it does is by placing it down, and then sticking it in here, it will keep it active, even when not having it in your inventory. So say now I try to damage it, I will get smited. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess we can end it off there, but basically it allows you to keep those active, so if you have a 
a bunch of death protections on there. You can be saved from death multiple times, or all sorts of different things like that. Well, um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah.